assalamu alaikum welcome all to easy him and intim channel in this video i discuss superficial perineal pouch it is a anatomical space in the urogenital triangle of the perineum just below the perineal membrane sometimes student feel difficulty to understand the superficial perineal pouch because to understand the superficial perineal pouch you need clear conception about perineum superficial fascia of the abdomen the anatomy of the external genitalia of the male anatomy of the male urethra and anatomy of the female external genitalia so let's start this is pelvic outlet it is a diamond shaped space and in living body this is the space between two thigh and this space also known as the perineum so perineum is a diamond shaped space if we draw a horizontal line along the ischial tubercity this diamond shaped space is converted into two triangular area in front the urogenital triangle and behind anal triangle you see the urogenital triangle is covered by a trough membrane this is perineal membrane this is the sagittal section of the body this is the location of perineal membrane you see just superficial to the perineal membrane or below the perineal membrane this is the location of the superficial perineal pouch and deep to the perineal membrane this is the location of the deep perineal pouch deep perineal pouch is a close space but the superficial perineal pouch is open place and it is continuous with the anterior abdominal wall now the superficial fascia of the abdomen this is skin this is the fatty camper fascia and this is membranous scarpa fascia both fatty and membranous layer form the superficial fascia of the abdomen this is fatty layer camper fascia this is membranous layer scarpa fascia now the distribution of the camper fascia the camper fascia is continuous with the superficial fascia of the thigh but it is not continuous with the penis superficial fascia of the penis and in scrotum it is replaced by the deltoid muscle the camper fascia is also present around the anus it is also present within the mons pubis and within the labia majora this is the summary of the distributions of the camper fascia the camper fascia is continuous with the superficial fascia of the thigh it is continuous with the fatty tissue present within the mons pubis and labia majora it is present around the anal orifice in scrotum both camper and scarpa fascia are replaced by deltoid muscle it is not continuous with penis now the distributions of the scarpa fascia this is scarpa fascia at the midline it is fixed with the lina alba in the thigh it is also fixed with the fascia lata it is not continuous with the fascia lata here the fascia carpa is end in penis it is continuous with the fascia of the penis in scrotum it is replaced by the deltoid muscle you see the fascia carpa in the perineum fascia carpa is continuous as collis fascia this is the perineal membrane this is the lower border of the perineal membrane and collis fascia is end here and you see this is the location of the
location of the labia minora and this is the location of the labia majora. So the fascia scarpa is continuous within the labia majora and in the perineum it is continue as fascia collis. You see the scarpa fascia is continuous perineum as fascia collis. This up to this fascia scarpa then it is converted into fascia collis and this fascia collis is end at the inferior border of the perineal membrane. In male the fa collis fascia is also end at the inferior border of the perineal membrane. Now the content of the superficial perineal pouch uh, this is the three erectile tissue two corpora cavernosum and this is corpus spongiosum. These dilated portions of erectile tissue is known as the bulb of the penis. This bulb of the penis is covered by a muscle known as the bulbo spongiosus. And this is um, corpus, corpus cavernosus. This is the crust of the penis and this crust of the penis is covered by a muscle issue cavernosus. And these two muscles also present in the superficial perineal pouch. This is known as the superficial transfer perineal muscles. This is one muscle, this is another muscle. So the superficial perineal pouch also contains the bulb of the penis and the crust of the penis. In female, the bulbous this is uh, the bulb of the vestibules this is getter vestibular gland these are the content of the superficial perineal pouch in female and these two things is covered by a muscle bulbous spongiosus this is the bulbous spongiosus if we remove we see the bulb of vestibule and getter vestibular gland and this is the crust of the clitoris and this crust of the clitoris is covered by a muscles. This is the ischiocavernosus. If we remove the ischiocavernosus muscle, we find the crust of the clitoris. This is the perineal body and this is two are the superficial transverse perineal muscles. So this is the content of the superficial pouch in female. Now excavations of the urine. Uh, this is the male urethra, this is the prostatic urethra, this is membranous urethra and this is the pongy part of the urethra. This is the location of the deep perineal pouch and this is the location of the superficial perineal pouch. So membranous urethra is present within the deep perineal pouch but the penile urethra or spongy part of the urethra present in, um, present in the superficial perineal pouch. So the rupture of the urethra may happen here, may happen here. So the rupture of the urethra within the superficial perineal pouch, but uh, this is the cross section of the penis. You see, this is the skin, and this superficial fascia, and this is back fascia. If the rupture of the urethra followed by uh, rupture of the back fascia, then urine can accumulate it around the penis, lower abdomen, lower anterior abdominal wall, scrotum, perineum. But this back fascia is intact. What happened? The urine only accumulated around the penis. Why urine does not accumulate it in the thigh? Because the fascia scarpa of the abdomen and 
after tightly binding with the fascia lata of the thigh. So, urine cannot enter within the thigh. Extravasation of the urine in the deep perineal pouch. If rupture of the urethra is occurred here, the urine is accumulated within the abdominal cavity. So this is all about superficial perineal pulse. If you like this video, please press the like button and please subscribe my channel.